Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how in today's society, people are chasing happiness like a drug. Your peace is way more important and valuable than happiness. Happiness has became the spiritual sugar drug addiction. So we already understand that we got a, a sugar addiction in Western society. Wherever you at in Western society, there is so much sugar embedded in all the food everywhere from bread to rice to the actual candy itself that we become an addict addicted to sugar till you become more disciplined. It's the same thing spiritually when you substitute that and you look at it in a spiritual form. Most people that are unaware and not really connected to source are chasing happiness. Happiness. I just want to be happy. I just want them to make me happy. You know, I just want to be happy, 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 happy. And you got to understand, like, happy, sadness, anger, frustration. You could name a lot of things. It's all on this spinning wheel right here. These are all temporary emotions. These are temporary emotions. You got people in society right now running around chasing a temporary emotion. Everybody's excited when they get the new toy, the new car, the new house. And then what happens after you have it for a while? You get the, your new favorite foods, you finally eating it. What happens after you have it for a little while? You're not happy anymore. The happiness meter went down. You was 100% happy when you first got it. Now you got it and you have access to it and you're indulging it. Now the happiness done went down to about 30%. So now you're back running around again to see, okay, what else can make me happy? How else can I make myself happy? People who are chasing happiness are people who are far, far, far away from a peaceful state. People who are chasing happiness are extremely far away from a peaceful state. This is why they tend to chase happiness. Because it's such a high, it's such a rush. It's like one of those feelings of, it's hard to put a cap on happiness because it depends on the situation, depending on how it will elevate you. But we all understand that it's short lived, it's temporary. Most people don't understand that you want to be more in a peaceful state longer then you're being concerned with being happy. I would much rather be peaceful throughout the day and have my emotional coasters like this, opposed from me trying to chase this one high happiness up here, or say that I'm looking for happiness. I don't know how you find happiness, like what are you supposed to look at? Like maybe I'm supposed to look in the water under the tree, but a lot of these things that we look outside of us, just my process, I had already figured that out young from within myself. My goal when I was young was to be at a peaceful state. I knew at a young age, 9, 10, 11, 12, I knew that it was certain things that would happen in life and that you could not take it back. My brother had got stitches, there was no take backs. You know, we do certain things, it lives with us for life. I was a young adolescent before I even understood a lot of this stuff and this is how I was processing. I would tell myself when I was younger, okay, I don't wanna do anything weird that's gonna put a bad memory in here because I realize I continuously think about and process some of these other things. So even when I was young, I used to already understand, all right, well, you know if you do something too hard or too ratchet over there, it's gonna sit in here and in here for a very long time. Even if it's on the up and up, you can flip it on the opposite side of the spectrum. I'm just pulling from one side and source right now. What I was doing at that age was I was already maintaining a peaceful state. In the midst of chaos, I was able to formulate how to maintain a peaceful state in here. Because when I would operate out in life and I would have too much things going on, say my mom scrambled me, my brother would do some weird stuff so now me and him beefing, or my friends was being weird outside, I would get too scrambled up here and I didn't like the way I would process operating out in life. 
I would get clumsy. I would start bumping into stuff. I would start knocking stuff down. I would be dropping things. I paid attention to all of these things at a young age. This is how I always understood that your peace is way more important and way more powerful than searching for the newest candy bar, the newest car, the newest TV show. You know, expecting someone to make you happy. It's a temporary emotion. People can make you happy, but it'll be temporary, short-lived. Just like people can make you angry, it'll be short-lived. If you're not one of the people that hold on to those things. You know what I mean? But understanding like the concept and the process of we're all out here engaging and mingling and doing this thing in society and we're trying to figure out how to operate in our best space and our highest frequency along with incorporating other beings. The other beings have to be in a peaceful state or on their way to a peaceful state. It's not about the happiness. It's like, even that old weird saying, happy wife, happy life. We've seen how many ships have crashed out from trying to follow that narrative. It does not work. It does not work. That's somebody chasing happiness, and the other person is trying to help them fulfill happiness. Relationships is work. All of it's work. So you're not going to always be fucking happy. I don't understand that. Like, anytime I've got with somebody, I knew that it's a transition. Okay, these couple months we're going to be like this, but in my world, I'm a leader. I'm figuring stuff out. So it's always like, all right, when we get to this space, I want to start implementing these things, or I want to start trying or doing these different things right here. I know that once we get past another transition, it's like, all right, now we're probably going to have, like, some disagreements, or they may not be the best listener, or I may not be giving the best instructions. So now I got to figure out how we going to process through this friction. Most people is not going to process through the friction because they just want to be happy. So the minute you piss them off, they're outsourcing somewhere else for happiness. That's like outsourcing to be angry all the time. Like, why don't people ever look at the flip side of things? Like, if you want to be happy all the time, you have to understand if you want to be happy all the time, there's other people in the world who want to be angry all the time. So they're searching for reasons to be angry. They could be at a, a peaceful state and it, it got too peaceful for them for 25 minutes or five minutes because most people using a witchy playbook don't get long increments of peace. It was too calm. It was it felt too nice. They was like, oh, shit, I got to create some chaos. I need to figure out uh, where this new happiness drug is at. Uh, females like, oh, which guy is in my DMs that I want to respond to? That's the cutest, you know, because they are always loaded. Then you got men that's like, ah, uh, let me. Let me hit some of these old joints in, in my past or some of these ones that are already engaged with because we already feel like we have certain access to you once we engage with you in the sacral area. So the happiness is always going to be a downfall. You know, unless it's coming organically and genuinely, it's going to be a downfall trying to chase it. I don't want to sit around and eat sugar all day. I don't want to sit around and eat candy all day. You know what I mean? So you have to understand when people are using these words and this terminology, they're telling you I'm an addict. It's like when you go around the hood, you expect to run into somebody that smoke crack or that do some heroin, some meth, or that's, that's using some kind of hard substance. And what's usually on their to-do list? Damn, I got to figure out where the pack at. Oh, I got I to figure out where to get these funds from so I can get this pack. I got to figure out well, where everything is at. The same way they're chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing. People out here in society are chasing and chasing and chasing. But they feel like because you don't see it in a physical representation form that it's non-existent. You're still chasing. It's like, uh, what's the, I don't know if they still do that at the horse races, but you know, when they got, or the dog races and they got the ball in front of them, but it's on a stick, so, but they'll never catch it. And all the dogs are running. This is how they keep the dogs in line when they're racing. These beings who are chasing happiness have that same concept spiritually in front of them. So if you are one of those beings who out here who like to use the happiness, remove it. Stop saying you want to be happy. Because your peaceful state is going to last longer than your happiness. 
I've been in peaceful states where I was happy, sad, and angry. But I was still peaceful and I was able to manage and master my energy and motion because I was in a peaceful state. I was in a clear space that allowed when that energy, those frequencies was passing through, trying to stick on me, it, it was hard for it to stick there because I didn't have a whole lot of chaos going on that was keeping me scrambled or getting over there. It wasn't like I'm trying to get through this hoarded house, you know, I got to get to the kitchen, but it's newspaper boxes, everything at the front door, and now it's like only this little narrow walkway that I'm trying to squeeze through to get there. Your peace is going to be way more prevalent than chasing and talking about happiness. Happiness. I see so much content and so many people around just, yeah, I don't care. As long as they make me happy, well, I'll do that because they make me happy. Do a happy, happy. It's like, damn. I know people who are in prison who have more peace and more happiness than the people who are here chasing happiness. The more you focus on being in a peaceful state, the more you can ride the happy wave. It lasts longer. Instead of being on a roller coaster that's going straight up and coming straight down, you find a regular coaster track that 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 gradually rides up you know and it don't just drop straight down it gradually goes out and it you got loops and twirls and spins and it's kind of fun you know it's a little bit of a thrill but it's not the straight up straight down kind of rush high that you get from trying to just chase being happy you know and that's for everybody out here that's putting happiness first stop putting happiness first we need more peace more peace more peace and love all right so the more we get these concepts down the easier it will be for us to move forward and to be able to give more insight to the other beings and be able to put different conversations on the, the, the verbiage and the word spells that they're using. A lot of people casting spells or putting out their own shit right there in front of you and because you're not aware of the words they're choosing to use, it just skates right over your head. You know, I'm always mindful of every single word that somebody uses. I don't care if it's just the and, the, to, how, why. However they put those words together, I'm mindful of that whole sentence, paragraph, outlook, whatever you want to call it. Always mindful of it. But happiness is going to be a lot of people downfall. Happiness is going to have you getting manipulated. Happiness is going to have you getting dragged through the dirt. Happiness is going to put blinders over your eyes so that you just uh, you allow these demons and these snakes to skate past because they're very good at emulating movies. Movies have taught regular people what happiness is supposed to look like, what sadness is supposed to look like, what empathy is supposed to look like, what sympathy is supposed to look like, what a man is supposed to be doing, what a woman is supposed to be doing. Movie has programmed us to believe all of these preconceived concepts. But once again, once you look at natural law, and I'm going to stop using nature because we're in Western society. Look at the homeless people. Look at the people who's not fitting in with society and how they live and operate. Yeah, they scrounging and scraping. I'm not talking about how they're actually surviving. I'm just talking about just look at the situation as a whole. It has structure as well. It all got structure. So just being mindful of these things, like the happiness. If you was drunk and at a bar, you wouldn't be surprised if somebody took advantage of you. It's no different than you're chasing a happy high and somebody start taking advantage of you. They could be dangling money. They could be dangling a house, car. You know, they could be dangling their time and energy. You know, they could be dangling anything, but you're so focused on that happiness high that you just going to allow anything to take place within there. We ain't doing that no more. We straight warriors out here. We have been creating more warriors and the ones that aren't, we are building them up as well too. We are not about to keep letting these demons slide with all this weird shit. We already understand that somebody got to come take our place when we go. So that's one thing I never understood why people have so much fear. You minimize the fear. If I was born in this world with 80% fear, I guarantee you now at my age I'm at now, it's down to about 20 to 15%. <laughs> it ain't at zero. But it's still down pretty low, you know? It's kind of hard to just remove all of it because it's like attached to everything. So that's always going to be part of the process. So you just got to learn how to face it and take it on. You know what I mean? It's been times where I was sad 
one minute and then a vibration or a thought or something came through or a being came through and it transitioned me right out of a sad state assisted me because I'm always pulling myself out of that space so if any time I get out of a space somebody threw me a rope the spirit world threw me some some wings or or a cloud to float up on it it was something that was sent because they know that I'm going to put this work in you know it's what I do but I ain't want to run it up too long you know what I mean your peace is more important than your happiness your peace is going to keep you in a clear mind state heart state solar plex chakra state you know you want all your chakras aligned if this isn't spinning going crazy because you aren't in peaceful your heart is going to be doing something weird because you ain't in a peaceful space and if that's not going crazy your solar plexus your stomach is going to be going crazy that's why we all have these quote-unquote butterflies because we haven't learned to master that solar plex chakra in itself our stomach chakra you know what i mean just be mindful of all of these things and Tapping everything down below for anybody that want to reach out to me Everything is in the description. I have I seen one of the uh, Tribe members had put down. He wanted to reach out to me, but everything is in the description King You know, what I mean my Instagram is on the video. You know what I mean? I do engage with everyone that reaches out through my DMS on Instagram. I prefer voice messages But I'll do texting and only to set up the video chat, you know what I mean? I'm not charging or doing consultations where I'm paying people who like me, who out here scrounging and scraping. I'm like, yo, you trying to give me your last so I can talk to you on the phone? Like, that's crazy to me. I'll charge the system, you know, but I'm not going to charge the people around me. That's like me charging my daughter to like, you want me to cook you dinner, Lexi? All right, give me $5. I I'll cook for you right now. If not, you got to cook your own food. Like, nah. We ain't on that time. Everybody's saying they doing something different, but they all operating the fucking same. Do something different if you different. Let your actions speak. You know what I mean? But if y'all do want to reach out, holla at me on the IG. The emails, I'm a little slow, but IG, I am efficient over there. I'm busy, but I do always get back. You know what I mean? Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.